Hello, I, well, I'm coming back on just to say hello and give you a four year of since owning the, the Transit Custom, what we've done differently, what we pack, what we don't pack, how we pack the van, uh, and things like that. The last video seemed to do really well and I just thought we were due a, um, basically a up-to-date version of how we have changed things. Um, I've also got, and what I have done is I've printed off and I've created a PDF of everything that we pack into the camper van for a trip away. Um, I don't know if anyone knows, but we also do, or I do a family blog. <clears throat> just once a month, I just put on what we've done, uh, whether it's in the van or out the van, holidays, days out, kayaking, paddle boarding, mountain biking, hiking, um, and just really sort of like family days out. Um, <coughs> excuse me. So if you see anything that I've packed in the van that you like, just head over to thedailygroove.co and there's a free PDF just to print off. It's got hyperlinks on it, so any of the products that you, I've shown you that you want, um, you can just grab those from, from the links. Um, so let's just get straight into it because I don't want it to be a long video. Um, I'm going to start in the boot. Please bear with me um, because I'm doing this on a bigger camera uh, and it's harder to handle. But uh, I'm just going to go through this very, very quickly with you so that you can see how it works for us. When we go on holiday, the kids can just say to me, Mum, did we get any toenail nippers or tweezers or paracetamol plasters walkie talkies and I can just pull up the PDF on my phone and just say yeah it's the top right hand cupboard at the back or it's on the little pouches on the back of the, the uh, headrests so it's really really been handy just to take that stress away from remembering where you've packed everything because there's so many nooks and crannies that you can't remember where you've put everything even though you feel like you should be able to remember because it's such a small space. Um, so, right, let's get into it. I'm going to take you around to the boot. Um, right, bear with because obviously it's going to auto focus, etc., etc. Hopefully, I'll be able to put you on the boot. Um, okay, so I've just redone and I'll turn it around so you don't actually need to see me either. Right, so this is in on the PDF, it's got back right hand cupboard and in here is some games, uh, all the, so I'm just putting these, uh, so yeah, we've got all the games and they're all listed on the PDF as well, like our um, shoes, etc, etc. And those are our four towels because we've just gone out to the beach. Well, I say just, it was actually a swimming pool, it wasn't the beach. Um, we just keep all of our, we clean them, dry them thoroughly and then put them onto the back parcel shelf. Uh, so that's all ready to go in case we want a night, a quick night away. Um, okay, on the PDF I've got down the right hand side at the bottom, you can sort of see down here, you've got two little tiny beach chairs they fold down nicely and then right next to that on the ingress is a inflatable couch uh, as well in this little cupboard here is actually an oven um jenga cards against um cards against humanity but the kids version i think it is yeah it's definitely the kids version and also a plug-in portable heater in case we're on electric and we don't want to use the diesel heater um these two chairs are like our big chairs for me and John and they come with footrests that are detachable and they are absolutely fantastic but like I said the link of those is in the um, in the PDF um, this plank of wood we actually use John and I to prop up the bed so that we have like a slight headrest and it just really really works obviously the ladder to get into the top bit the Kadak has always stayed we normally always have some water that we keep in the back of the van just for emergency that is obviously the gas that doesn't change um small i'll get it out small table we have that just by the kids chairs and then right in the back i don't know if it's going to focus yet it is that is the ramps 
we've got two tennis rackets we've got another inflatable couch we've also got the leg of the table that's not going to focus uh, in the back and we've got a tire jack as well um, and then that is all we've got in the back um, and then when we do go away uh, we usually take the paddle boards as well and then we've got a tow bar yeah we've got a tow bar that we put on so like right so now I'm gonna take you back into the main part of the van all the way down this side bit I call it the ledge this lifts up completely now in the back side of it in the boot side is actually three mini water bottles uh, the the storm straps for the awning um, we've got a washing line and pegs uh, and like a foldable collapsible washing up basket or thing as well um, this front bit we usually keep for dog things we've got dog bowls dog towels dog treats um, and then all their food fits in there for normally about sort of seven days we bag it all up uh, and put all their food and things like that in there and that just stays out the way it's easy to get to especially if we've got the bike rack on um, so that's another really good bit of storage but like I said all of the collapsible bowls and things like that are all on this printable PDF sheet uh, that we've got available right into the middle this gets full up obviously when we end up traveling but we always keep in sweets not sweets they're crisps Marshmallows, obviously, because you're camping. Spare sponges, napkins, uh, a spare toilet roll. Uh, so, and then that's obviously gets full up with other bits while we're travelling. Um, this back cupboard up the top, not the easiest to get to, but we kind of call them like everyday essentials. Not everyday essentials. They're sort of like every time you go on a trip, you're going to want them. Uh, back cupboard, top left of van. So up there, you've got mosquito uh, I'm gonna see if I can do it like this we've got a mosquito like we've got two snuds we've got our wash bag for dirty clothing we've got a plug-in cube that has like lots and lots of different um, attachments USB you can plug in three pin etc etc we've also got a USB plug-in fan out the back we've got our temp chemical toilet chemical up here as well wrapped up in double bag uh, to, to redo the toilet uh, we have our clothes like washing detergent etc um, and we have mosquito repellent bands limonella candles and incense sticks and what else do we have up there it will be in there oh and uh headphones spare four spare headphones um rechargeable tea lights and sponge cloths and spare batteries so we've got double a's triple a's and two big c batteries as well uh, so going down into this cupboard here um it's a roll back door I always keep the blankets they're easy for the kids to get to especially if we're traveling and they want to snuggle up so there's blankets there uh, and then underneath here this is completely empty at the moment because this is where John and I keep all of our clothes um, and we very much so pack light I don't mind doing some washing this is always empty because this is the kids cupboards they get one cube each of clothing and they basically sit vertically there so that is both their clothing that includes pants socks um, t-shirts leggings or tracksuit bottoms and, and things like that their jumpers we generally travel for a week's worth we generally travel with two jumpers one that they're wearing and one that they pack and then they've got their like puffy jackets and cagoules and but they have like uh, clean t-shirts and then this is normally like ipad switch any electronics that they want to play with their phones and anything like that and that that is theirs so that that's easy for them to get to this gets filled up with bits and bobs during the holiday so it might just be extra storage for food um, but at the moment we've got some bins some little lights some wipes uh, hand sanitizer um, and bits like that and then this is our everyday sort of hygiene cupboard we've got uh, 
shampoo is that gonna focus yeah we've got um, sun cream toothbrushes toothpaste shower gel and everything like that um, and different shower gels and deodorants uh, and spare bags uh, for any dirty laundry if you go away or anything like that um, and then classic we've got hob I mean that that was just what I was propping the, the camera up just to give you a better angle when I was talking at the beginning um, right big cupboard I don't know if we've had a switch around since the last video, I'd have to have to take a look. But um, cups, we take three big sort of like cups because we normally have one of Mallory's friends with us. We've got some nuts on the side. We've got gin and tonic glasses. We've got two wine glasses. We've got our whiskey tumbler with tumblers, like little shot tumblers, wee drams or whatever you call them. Uh, and then we normally have like stacked in here is our two coffee cups as well that are stainless steel. We've got five plates, we've got two chopping boards, and then here in the baskets, we've got napkins, we've got avocado oil, we've got dipping bread oil, we've got a few sweets, we've got some biscuits, we've got a cereal bar, we've got nighttime teas, we've got some jam, some condiments. This is what we heat our water up into because why not? Um, and it's easy, it just sits in there. We've got a natural raw honey here. Um, and then we also have the Taylor coffee tea bags and it's at, they're absolutely fantastic. John and I love our coffee and we just find that that is just so easy to use while we're out and about. Um, down here is the electrics cupboard. So we don't do anything with that. That just stays there ticking along nicely. And then down here, not very pleasant. We have our toilet, we have our toilet roll. Above here we have our washing up mat, we have our ridge monkey, we have a fantastic collapsible bowl that can be for um, salads, crisps, anything um, and it just literally folds up to nothing um, and just gets, just gets sort of shoved back in there like so um, and then we've got a toaster a roasting tin a cake tin type thing or big deep saucepan for pastas and then we've got four no we've got five bowls in there um, and then obviously toilet roll um, fridge we've got a mayonnaise in there my we've only just used it we've come back from Swinley and then in here we have got uh, co for spraying down the sides we've got two sharp knives we've got our oh, knives and forks are in pouches like this um, and so our knives are in that one we've got another pouch for forks and then we've got another pouch for uh, big spoons and small spoons uh, and that just all sits in there really nicely oh let me open that because I need to open and show you this bit Okay, so this spare jams up the top and some nibbles. The flour at the side gets changed out all the time because I think I'm going to make pancakes or do a cake and I never ever do, but it's there just in case because you know the disappointment on the kids' faces when they would like something and you just can't do it. We've always got eggs. Um, sugar salt and seasonings and then this is our games this is absolutely fantastic i love this little drawer for the games we've got chess we've got battleships we've got loads of different card games um we've got an iq game we've got a spelling game and we've also got a few pencils just in case because you just never know how creative you might get um, down the side here we have our sort of European car kit and then just behind there we also have our fire extinguisher and obviously Sudoku. Let me just clip that in just so I don't forget. Right so we're absolutely hammering through these. These are fantastic, with, I think they were in the first video. Um, headrest hanger hooks, absolutely brilliant. Hats, jackets, everything. This was a new addition for us this year. Let me just move those out the way just so I can show you. This is all of our first aid kit and medical gear. So easy to get to, like if anyone's been cut or like has a headache, let me just see. We've got two of those. We've got mosquito, we've got, I think that's um, sore throat, 
paracetamol, aspirins, ibuprofen and diarrhea tablets and then in here you've got plasters, antiseptic wipes, um, gauze etc etc. We've got pseudo cream, we've got loads of mosquito bits and bobs because you are always by a river or a lake. Um, so and then that's it. We have got the small dustpan and brush that's in the glove box. These wires are always like this and they just plug in, they're absolutely fantastic. Um, I think that is, I think that is it. We have, would we change, would we change anything? I don't think we would. Uh, we probably, we had a, a, a discussion that we thought that we might feel like um, we're outgrowing the van with two children heading towards teenagers and two dogs. But I think the reality of it is, is uh, how much longer do the kids really want to be stuck in a small space with us? Even though they keep saying that they absolutely love it and they want to do it, uh, you just never know, do you? And it's a huge expense to go for another bigger vehicle. Uh, so to get rid of this one, to get a bigger one that has like a, a toilet in it um, with a, a shuttable door. Um, where this just suits John and I. We can be inconspicuous, we can go to a city centre, we can go, you know, wild camp, we can park in normal spaces and we can access so many different car parks because we're this size. Um, Travelling on a ferry, you're that bracket cheaper. Going on the Euro Tunnel, you're that bracket cheaper. I just think it, it ticks too many of the boxes now and I think if we're going away on holiday with the children we probably would do less and less wild camping and do more site camping just so we have access to the facilities that a teenager would need um, just to make it more comfortable for them and uh, you know they have a little bit more space to have a wander around and, and things like that but that being said when we wild camped up around the Lake District this summer they both thoroughly thoroughly enjoyed it um, and really want to go back next year and do longer splitting the wild camping with one hotel stay at the inn on the lake because it's absolutely gorgeous John and I nearly got married up there and decided to stay down south and get married um, anyway before didn't want to ramble on go and get the PDF from our um, family website thedailygroove.co take a look at the uh, blogs I'm going to be starting to add um, maybe what we did over in Spain the NC 500 uh, how how we go about deciding where we're going to go with the children and trying to have it enjoyable for all of the family not just John and I um, so if you're interested in things like that and plus we also do a lot of gaming so even though we love being outside and we're really outdoorsy people we also all of us absolutely love gaming that's monster jam gaming that's pc gaming that's switch gaming so um check us out on our youtube channel we often go live as well uh gaming uh duo hunt showdown Fortnite, etc thank you again for supporting the channel and i hope you have um enjoyed it okay thanks a lot guys bye